Let's talk about Ajani the Great Hearted in Oathbreaker and what kind of signature spell might be best with him. For two green white, he starts at five loyalty. Creatures you control have vigilance. Plus one, you gain three life. Minus two, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control and a loyalty counter on each other planeswalker you control. So I could see a couple different directions that this could go. You could do a life gain synergy type of deck or a plus one plus one counters matters type of thing. Or we could try to get maximum value of that minus two by doing a creature token build. My personal favorite though would be a Planeswalker tribal deck or some mix between all of those. So let's look at some signature spell options. Verdant Command is a pretty quirky one. For two mana, it's an instant, choose two. Target player creates two tapped 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens. Counter target loyalty ability of a Planeswalker. Exile target card from a graveyard. Target player gains three life. This would be good in a creature token and or life gain deck, but I want to note the countering target loyalty ability of a planeswalker is just really cool in this format. March of the Multitudes for X green white white is an instant with convoke. Create X one one white soldier creature tokens with lifelink. I really like this one in a creature token focused deck. The convoke lets you tap your creatures for mana to make even more creatures. And if a Johnny puts counters on him, you're gonna be gaining even more life. Ah, I just love it. I also like Tyranid Invasion. For four mana, create a number of 3-3 three, three green Tyranid Warrior creature tokens with Trample, equal to the number of opponents you have. I would not play this card in Commander, but in Oathbreaker, where we have 20 life and games go a lot quicker, I think this is actually a really good token maker. But if we just want the maximum number of tokens for mana spent, Spectral Procession gives you three 1-1 one, one flyers for three mana, Release the Dogs gives you four 1-1s one, for four mana, and Conqueror's Pledge gives you six 1-1s one, for five mana. All right, let's look at some signature spells that focus on the counters. Damning Verdict for five mana destroys all creatures with no counters on them. A one-sided board wipe, that seems pretty cool. Inspiring Call is a three mana instant. Draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. Those creatures gain indestructible till end of turn. Personally, I'm always down for a signature spell that draws cards. And this one's got even more upside to it. Unbounded Potential either puts plus one plus one counters on creatures or proliferates. And I really like the idea of proliferating if we're doing a Planeswalker strategy also. Because remember, Ajani puts loyalty counters on Planeswalkers you control. That could either be a main theme of the deck or a sub-theme. Call the Gatewatch, Search for Glory, or Ignite the Beacon can all search up Planeswalkers and put them into your hand. And Deploy the Gatewatch looks at the top seven cards of your library, and you can put up to two Planeswalker cards from among them onto the battlefield. And I just want to mention how well all of the Gideons work with this Ajani. Because when Gideon turns into a creature, he's a creature and a planeswalker at the same time, so he gets both of Ajani's bonuses. He gets the plus one plus one counters and the loyalty. Or, if you like the idea of going hard on life gain, Fortifying Drought is a pretty cool one. An instant for one mana, you gain two life. Target creature gets plus x plus x until end of turn, where x is the amount of life you gained this turn. If you activated a Johnny and gained three life, well, now he's getting plus five, plus five. And I assume your deck has lots of other life gain things in it too. It's probably not the strongest thing you could do, but it seems like a fun and unique build. If you enjoy Oathbreaker content like this, consider subscribing for more. And here's another video I think you might like. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.